Hello everyone. So this time it's about rendering your scenes using V-Ray standalone. Uh, for your information, V-Ray for Moda is more than just a simple third-party render engine, but it also comes with a whole ecosystem of tools. And one of these tools is V-Ray standalone that is built around V-Ray scene description format VR scene some kind of PDF for 3D files. So it contains all the information, geometry, shaders, animations, instances, everything to render your scene. Usually when rendering a scene using V-Ray, what happens is if you press render, a VR scene file is exported, which is then rendered using V-Ray. With the help of V-Ray standalone, which is also part of every installation of V-Ray, you can make the rendering an external task, which has a lot of benefits and it's not really complicated to do so. So don't worry, you don't have to struggle around with command line options unless you want to do so. So rendering using V-Ray standalone is pretty simple. You just go up there in the V-Ray menu and select render with V-Ray standalone. Up there you have a couple of options like for example what kind of pass scripts you want to use, what kind of render engine you want to use on CPU or GPU. You can define a frame range. If you have additional nodes you can select uh, use uh, distributed rendering. Beside that you can leave usually everything by default here and just click up there OK. Afterwards, uh, V-Ray will ask uh, where it should place the final rendered image. Uh, you can define also what kind of image format you want to have. In this case, I just have here some kind of folder. Let's name it test. And let's do V-Ray do the rest. So uh, it's going to export the, whole, the first keyframe. Since we have no animation, it's going to be exported as a VR scene file. And once this is done, uh, V-Ray automatically starts the V-Ray standalone, which is rendering the scene. Which is pretty convenient because uh, it's an ex external task. So you can go back to Modo, you can close Modo if you don't want to use it anymore. You can work on your scene, whatever you want to do. Uh, here you can see what V-Ray is doing in the background. Um, you can take a look if all the render nodes are going to be loaded, if there are problems with using textures or anything. You just get a pretty good information level on what's happening behind the scenes and the rendering is going to start. You can see here that it's really an external task. So it's not using Modo, it's using V-Ray standalone for rendering.